Hey guys and welcome to our Monday tutorial. In today's video we're gonna see a more natural glam. I'm gonna focus on a more glowy skin, very light eyeshadow on the eyes and red lips. Here's a quick before and after transformation before we start our makeup application. In such a look it's extremely important that your skin is really hydrated moisturized and ready for your makeup application i'm using the instant light spray makeup base to make sure all of that is ready for her skin i'm gonna start by applying a very fine layer of foundation on her skin and i'm using the divine matte liquid foundation in number 25 with my foundation brush which is a number 36 and i'm going to add a very small amount and spread it out evenly all over her face Make sure to tap with a dry beauty blender her foundation so that you really get the skin ready with the foundation and all the pigment that you don't need. The beauty blender will absorb and just press the pigment into your skin. Highlight is really important but in this look I'm gonna keep it very natural and I'm using the concealer in number 1.5 and one my concealer brush which is a number 18 and then with my beauty blender I'm going to tap to blend the edges in the center of the forehead and also in the center of her chin. To contour, I'm going to use the Divine Matte Liquid Foundation in number 50 with my foundation brush, which is in number 38, to add a little bit over her cheekbones. It will be extremely easy for me because I do have foundation underneath, so it will directly blend very easily. And again, with my beauty blender, I'm going to tap so that I make sure no harsh lines or edges of my contour are still visible. With my powder brush, which is a number 25, and give me some from MAC, I'm going to add more color into her skin and set my foundation with this powder. After that, I'm gonna also add some glow onto her skin and I'm using a secret product that I cannot still reveal anything about that will fix her skin and give me this extra glow on the cheeks, the temples, and also the forehead. I tap my beauty blender on her eyelid to make sure it's ready for my makeup application. I'm going to use a wet eyeshadow so buttery in effect with a bronze goldish tone so that it will give me this really wet finish for her eyeshadow. I'm gonna do the same thing also on the other side and then with my blending brush and I'm going to puff out the eyeshadow upwards tower her eyebrows to blend it out and look really homogeneous. I'm going to set this eyeshadow with Anastasia color pigment also in bronze to make sure it really stays for a very long period of time. Same thing on the lower lash line with my applicator brush which is a number 21. I'm using the same shade of eyeshadow to puff out her under eye area and make sure that I don't have any harsh lines that will give me this puffed out effect for my eyeshadow. Eyebrows are very important to stay very natural in such a look and I'm going to brush them with the uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills Eyebrow Gel Mascara in Caramel and then pencil them in a very very natural way so that I don't focus on the eyebrow definition. To give this look a more sexy finish I'm gonna draw her lips with a red lip liner that will pop up her face more and I make sure to always draw the lips with my applicator brush which is a number 22 and I'm using the Sephora long lasting lip stains. I start shaping the lip from the lower side so that I make sure I do have my exact precision and after that I move into her upper lip to make sure that I also balance the shape and make them extremely symmetrical and always very precise. On top of my lip stain, I'm going to add from the Anastasia Artist Palette the color red and I make sure I fill all the lip in this color so that it really stays for a very long period of time and it will give me this really super pigmented lip color. I'm going to add a little bit more blush on her face and I'm using the Laura Mercier bronzer with my brush in number 39 just to define a little bit more her cheekbones but always keeping in mind that I really need to focus on keeping her skin looking very natural. In such a look I'm not gonna use any false lashes where else I'm going to focus on her real lashes and I'm using the Hypnose Longcom Mascara to brush her lashes together and give them this more intensified look although I really want to focus on keeping the whole eye look extremely natural. 
Guys, here's a quick before and after. I really hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial for a very natural, glowy glam. Don't forget, you can always write down in the comment section what you want me to show you next. And always don't forget to subscribe and I'll definitely see you in the next one.